uh, experiment so you have couple of uh, learning outcomes okay so basically you're going to look into the factors that affect the momentum and impulse force okay acting on the object okay and you're going to explore the conservation of linear momentum in three ways uh, first in elastic inelastic and completely inelastic uh, collisions right and then next you go to the kinetic energy okay before and after collision right uh, in two conditions uh, which is inelastic collision and elastic collision okay and lastly we're going to look into the relationship between mass initial velocity final velocity okay and the conservation of uh, momentum and conservation of mechanical energy in those collisions and also in the pendulum as well okay so as we know that the momentum is defined as mass in motion right so if object has the mass so if object is moving then it has momentum okay so whenever object is moving so when it hits something of course it will have momentum okay and the momentum depends on two variables which is given by that equation uh, which is m and v uh, sorry uh, yes m and v so we use the mass and velocity okay uh and then during a collision all right so when it hits something the object experience an impulse okay so the impulse causes and is equal to the change in momentum okay so there is a rate of change of momentum okay so you need to see what is the initial momentum and also what is the final momentum then that gives you the impulse all right okay so uh, given by the equation f equals to mv minus mu right so initial uh, uh final minus initial collision all right divide with time okay so for a collision between the two objects okay we have uh, another equation that defines that all right so it should be following the conservation of momentum right so whatever objects that uh, having momentum it should follow the conservation of momentum okay so which is given by if you have two objects then it depends on both um, masses and speed of that uh, object okay initial speed and then also the final speed so the summation of initial uh, initial speed of both objects right times uh, with the uh, speed all right is equals to the mass of the object okay both mass of of the object okay and also their final speed okay so that's actually some theory about uh, the momentum okay the impulse and also the concept of conservation of momentum okay so now we look to the experiment number one which which is about the momentum and impulse force okay you can go to the following link okay. so where we have the experiment about an uh, egg all right okay so basically so this is the page that you will see when you open the the, the link all right and then 
you need to go to begin the activity right you need to go to the begin activity so you can go there i'm going to change my screen now okay so in the activity all right so you have a couple of uh experimental conditions right so this is the the default one right so you can just use that okay and you can go to run trial okay and then once you go to run trial and then you click on the drop egg uh, drop the egg Okay, so the egg will drop. Okay, and then it drops and then it hits the bottom and then it is broken. Okay, and then you have that report given to you. Okay, so observe that. Okay. And then you have the table to be filled in, right? You have the table to be filled in. Right, so basically you need to change that according to what table asks you to do. So basically it will be the drop height will change, right? So first you have one meter and then next you have five meter and then you, next you have a uh, 10 meter. Okay. So just fill in those, those table, okay, according to what, uh, what kind of parameter that you use so it should be similar to what should be inside the table okay so you have that uh, in the number five okay instruction so you have uh, first second and third table so you need to fill those in okay all right and then uh, number four okay uh, number four you can also uh okay so you can also repeat that experiment with another set of with another set of uh table right where it's not given in this uh lab manual okay meaning that there are multiple ways to do this experiment. Okay, so basically, you can change the condition over there, and then mean that you have, uh, okay, the possibility is that so first you can change from, okay, small, okay, and then drop height you can change for three different parameters, all right, and then let's say you can go to large, all right. Okay, and also you can change the parameters as well and also you can go to jumbo and then you can change all of those all right okay so that's in terms of changing the the egg size and also the drop height okay but if you want to retain it uh okay retain that those two and then you, you change that to the landing surface all right so that could be another set of experiment as well okay and also during the same time you go to large okay and then you can change that okay i mean uh, the landing surface could be changed as well okay so you have a uh, multiple possibility okay to do the experiment okay so you can do the observation on that Okay, and after that, there are a couple of questions that you need to answer. So there are 10, 10 questions that you need to answer. Right, so that ends the experiment number one. Okay, so it should be easy. So because everything is uh, actually is given, right? So just do the observation and then see. I mean, whenever there's multiple factors involved, so how that change your uh, momentum right okay so 
next uh, we're going to look into the experiment number two Okay, in the experiment, uh, we're going to look into the conservation of momentum. Okay, so m u1, m1, u1 plus m2, u2 equals to m1, v1 plus m2, v2. Okay, so here we're going to use the simulation on O physics. Okay, so you can click there. Okay, so the simulation is about the collision in one dimension between two masses, okay? And then, which is initially sliding towards each other on a frictionless surface, okay? Right, so you open uh, that window, okay? So this is what we, we will be shown. Okay, first of all, you need to set the elasticity to be in elastic. Elasti condition okay so you need to change that in, in elastic condition okay so whenever all right uh, the elasticity is equals to zero so basically the number okay over here over there so let's go through to the the real window of that the real page okay uh, you change the elasticity value over there okay so whenever elasticity is zero is totally inelastic okay and then if the number of elasticity is one it is perfectly elastic okay so if it is perfectly elastic then it is very hard to be broken okay if it is totally inelastic it is very easy to, to break okay so uh, in the question number two ask you to use the inelastic condition at 0 0.5 okay and then you use three different uh, values okay of the mass okay so you can change the mass value okay so over over there uh so you can uh, change those slides right so, so that the blue slider refers to the blue box okay and the right slider uh, refers to the red box okay All right, so you need to record okay the momentum, the total momentum. Okay, so basically, once you did that, so you change the masses, right? So you can choose whatever that uh, you like, okay? And then run, okay? When it is run, then you will see that you have the graph of momentum and also the, the speed. So basically, you need to record the, the total momentum, okay, of the two boxes before the collision, right? And also, uh, the total momentum of two boxes after the collision, okay, and the total kinetic energy of the two boxes before the total kinetic energy of the two boxes after the collision. So, it is actually given there, all right? It is given there, the information that you need. Okay, uh, all right, and then you need to complete that information in table ABC given in the next page on the your lab manual, all right? Okay, uh, and number three, you need to repeat uh, the experiment, okay, by changing the, okay, by changing the elasticity. Okay, so now you change the elasticity to one, all right, and then 
you run it. Okay, so you record the observation and next, number four, you change this elasticity to zero and then run the, uh, run the experiment. Okay, and then see what happened. Okay, make sure that you use the similar methods in order to observe the effect, okay, the, the, the factors related to that. Okay, so try to uh, maintain the masses, all right, of the box and then change the elasticity. You see uh, different conditions of the elasticity affects the momentum. Okay, so fill in those tables. Right, so analyze uh, the co concept of conservation of energy and momentum. Okay, and then make uh, several conclusions based on the analysis. Okay, so that's basically about the experiment number two. Okay. All right. Um, we're going to have a, another experiment. Uh, okay, the last experiment in this lab manual is experiment number three, uh, which is about the pendulum, ballistic pendulum. Okay. So also, you're going to go to the O physics to open the simulation. Okay. So, a ballistic pendulum is a device used to determine the speed of a bullet. Okay. Uh, it is a device used to determine the speed of a bullet. Okay. Basically, when we hit this pendulum with a bullet, then we can actually determine that speed of bullet. Okay, so you go there, right? So you go there. So you need to reset the reference line to be at the bottom level. Okay, so basically, you need to set the bottom line to be uh, at the bottom level, okay? By using the vertical slider. So this is the vertical slider over there. Okay, so let's go to the old physics. Okay, so basically change uh, the slider over there. So make sure it is at the bottom, okay, at the, at the bottom of the pendulum, right? The bottom of the pendulum where h equals to zero meter. Okay, so you use the horizontal sliders to adjust the mass of the bullet. Okay, so you have the okay, the slider over here, the uh, the horizontal slider where you can change the mass of the bullet. Okay. And you can also change the mass of the wood, right? In that mass of the wood on the pendulum, okay? And initial velocity of the uh, bullet, okay? So do not tick on the check box, okay? So leave it as an unknown first, okay? So you untick that. Okay, so over there actually you will not be shown of the initial velocity of that. Okay, and then press the fire button. Okay. So once you press the fire, so the bullet will be fired into the box. Okay, and then you see that that uh, bullet sticks with the box. Okay, and then the box swings, okay. To the left and right. Okay, and then change this vertical slider. Okay, to know what is the maximum height okay, that is achieved 
by okay by the pendulum okay so around that okay so record your observation okay and then you need to estimate okay you need to do estimate the initial velocity of the bullet okay so what is the initial velocity of the bullet so you need to think okay what kind of equation actually that is related so refer back to the notes and also the textbook okay so the concept of the momentum all right so basically when the, ob the two objects sticks together so what happens so this is actually uh, already discussed during the the class uh, session okay so you just refer back to the notes so you will you will be able to answer that question okay uh, and then next You can click there, right? This is actually the value of the initial velocity. Okay, that is given by this simulation, and then compare your answer. Right? Compare your answer. Whether from your calculation you get this one close to this value or not. If you get it's very close to this value, that means your calculation is correct. So if it is not, then might be. Uh, you need to refer back to your calculation, right? And check what is wrong with that. Okay, and then number eight, okay? You need to repeat the experiment, okay? By using uh, two sets of different values, okay? With that, uh, you need to change the sliders or the, the horizontal slider over here, okay? So change that, okay? And then fill the table uh, in number nine, okay? And then record your observation. Okay, so you have uh, questions that you need to answer uh, in number 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? So you need to answer that for your lab report. Okay, so that's basically about the lab today. Okay, any questions so far? No, doctor. Okay. All right, so work on the experiment, okay, and then do the lab report. Okay, um, I'm going to stop here for this slide. Okay, so you, if you have any question, you can just let me know, okay, on the WhatsApp. Okay. Um, all right, so that's it for now. Uh, and okay, remember that so i just mentioned to you about the presentation that you need to do on the week 14 okay so basically you need to choose uh one experiment okay that you need to prove okay so use whatever at, at your home the materials okay to the physics assembly uh, from the topics that you have learned so far and then relate that with the equation that you learn okay and then prove that whether uh, what you calculate is similar to what you did, okay, to the experiment. Okay, so you work, you need to work this in uh, a pair, right? So two persons in one group. Okay, any, any question? Um, so please let me know, all right? Okay, please uh, write in the WhatsApp, okay, uh, your name and also the group that you perform. Okay, so you can give whatever name to your group. Okay, 
So basically, uh, during the week 14, we're going to, uh, you guys are going to do the presentation. Okay, mostly during uh, the, the last, our last lab session, okay, on that Tuesday. Okay, when we have our last uh, lab manual during that day, okay. So the presentation uh, should be uh, around okay, 10 to 15 minutes for each group. Okay, so basically I'm expecting you're going to have about 10, 10 to maybe 10 to 11 groups. Okay, so that's on the week 14. Okay. All right. So that's it for today. So let's turn on your camera and then we're going to take the attendance for the lab for today's lab. Right, mm, I'm going to count from 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay, have a nice day. All right, enjoy the rest of the day. Assalamualaikum and bye-bye. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Welcome. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome.